Hello friends, today I am going to discuss what how to connect MySQL database with Power BI. So at here, let's go to Power BI desktop and here go to get data, here click this. Now here after go to more. And here after select database and here you can find different database. So going to select add here MySQL. Now here after let's click on connect. Now here server name. So server name you should keep your PC name. So how do you find the PC name? Let's go on add here this PC and here right click and here properties and here after change and copy this PC name. So this is the PC name, full computer name, you should copy and here after paste there and how do we find the database. So here if you go MySQL words page, you can select any database Sakila says word. Okay, now here just write Sakila and press enter. Now here you can find navigator and your display option. So inside Sakila there are so many at your tables there. So if you want to see the records of actor, just click here. This is the record inside actor. Now here after category. So this is at here category now address. So see and here this all disable. Now here after I am going to uh, select on this checkbox and here after you can see this option is enabled. Now click on load. Now here you can see there are pending changes and here loading Sakila actor even lighting. Here you can find Sakila and here this all columns. So let's uh, select and here actor ID. Now here it's a processing let's make that bigger and here after here you can see this all visualization if you want then here you can change the themes so let's uh, select this option and here right click here show data so it's only actor id you can include multiple columns so check that here after or oh, last update it's come there here last update actor id by year here you can select different option like uh, so this is pie chart here this is turn turn out and here this is uh, so different option now here after let's include at here first time also so check this or check box and here after uh, it's a uh, processing and here after let's select this option and here last year 20k by year back report it's all displaying now here you can use the different option area chart this is for and here this is at here increase or decrease so this is the first way we can get the data from my sql into power bi now here after let's uh, see another step so for another step uh, add here let's uh, uncheck this all now here after going to use remove option and here after for another step uh, let's go add here control panel so control panel now here after system security here administrative tools here ODBC data source and here you can uh, see add here click on add so when mysql install in your pc you can automatically find this mysql ODBC at this this one so here you can add you can select anyone okay going to select first one is yes. And you have to, so let's give at here my SQL T. Now here, so about the TCP IP, just write localhost. And you have to user name. So 
so username that is so root and at the time of installation you set the password of the root so keep the same password at this place now about the database you can use anyone from three so i'm going to use circular right here now if everything okay click on test so right here connection successful here after click on ok so my sql it's added at here now here the next step get it down here more and here select other and here you can find odbc and here click on connect So right here, I just uh, created one ODBC related with MySQL, MySQL T. So you need to select this option and you have to click on OK. So right here, username, keep the username again and here, keep the password. And here, database, it's uh, selected. Now click on connect. Now again navigator it's come so at here going to select the data for Sakila. So if you want to see the city, so here it's the evaluating previous evaluating. So this is the record inside city. You can use anyone from them. Now hereafter let's uh, use check the box here, click on load. I was used actor, this time going to use a city. So here city so let's select this city option here now so data and here this is so uh, uh, this selected at here or uh, map now here you can use uh, like uh, different visualization option now add some so this time going to add city id Now here, let's uh, select uh, this. Here, it's so. Uh, this is at here about uh, pie chart. Here, this is describing about the city and here city ID. This all those things. Here you can add multiple columns. So here, when I add here, you can use here. Here you can see lost date. It's a uh, display. So this is at here graphical user re representation of the table. It's uh, displaying by using Power BI. Yeah. So this is the way we can get the data from MySQL into Power BI. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next video.